Hello guys, in this video we are going talking about the molecular structure and electronic configuration of N2O4. Initially we need to consider about the middle atom. Middle atom means in this molecule we can decide it like this. The less electronegative atom is the middle atom. Then middle atom is nitrogen. Thereafter consider about the number of electrons given by nitrogen. We know nitrogen is the uh, group 5 element that means nitrogen gives 5 electrons. But in this N2O4 molecule we can see 2 nitrogen atoms so uh, totally nitrogen gives 10 electrons. So now you need to consider about the number of electrons given by oxygen. We know oxygen is a group 6 element so oxygen Give, gives 6 electrons but there are uh, 4 oxygen atoms so we need to uh, take the total in oxygen so we will have 24 electrons given by oxygen so now we need to consider about the total electrons in this molecule uh, it is about 34 electrons thereafter consider about the total electron pairs that means we need to divide 34 by 2 that gives 17 electron pairs in this N2O4 molecule. Uh, so now you need to consider about the sketch figure of N2O4. We know nitrogen is the middle atom then there is nitrogen nitrogen sigma bond thereafter there are four oxygen atoms so you need to make bonds with nitrogen with two oxygen atoms and one nitrogen like this so now consider about the uh, sigma bonds in this sketch figure you can see nitrogen oxygen uh, four sigma bonds like this and one sigma bond between nitrogen and nitrogen so now you have will have uh, five sigma bonds that means total sigma pairs is five and the rest of electrons is 12. now we need to fill all the oxygen and nitrogens with these uh, rest of electrons so now we are gonna have the most stable figure for n2o4 now i am going to write uh, once again this uh, sketch figure for n2o4 Thereafter, we need to fill these 12 rest of electrons by beginning from oxygen. And we need to use octet rule when we are going to fill all the rest of electrons. So, oxygen takes 3 uh, lone pair of electrons like this. Then, after filling all the 4 oxygen atoms, there is no more rest of electrons so now we need to consider about the charge of elect oxygen oxygen takes minus charge like this so uh, all the four oxygen atoms are gonna have uh, minus charge and nitrogen takes plus two charge this both nitrogen takes plus two charge thereafter by making all the electro um, charge con uh, distribution between nitrogen and oxygen we need to have five bonds between nitrogen and oxygen just like this by making five bonds just like this we will have this most stable structure for n2o4 that means there is one uh, five bond between nitrogen and oxygen for one nitrogen atom and plus charge will not be changed for nitrogen and both uh, two nitrogen atoms are gonna have plus charges thereafter there is only one oxygen atom uh, by making uh, minus charge and there is another five bond between nitrogen and oxygen this is the most stable structure for N2O4